The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Good morning, Father. Today is the 28th Sunday in ordinary time. And if we reflect all the readings today, this Sunday, it talks about who is the greatest. For example, in our second reading, there is a talks about the, the wisdom and the passions that we acquire. Most of the time, we follow our passions. And because of this, let us only ask our sins. And so prepare us to celebrate the sacred mysteries. But together, I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most labor scope. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, who bounded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts, we may merit to attain eternal life. Through Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Israel. The wicked say, let us visit the just one, because he is obnoxious to us. He sets himself against our doings, reproaches us for transgressions of the law, and charges us with violations of our training. Let us see whether his words be true. Let us find out what will happen to him. For if the just one be the Son of God, God will defend him and deliver him from the hand of his foes. With revilement and torture, let us put the just one to the test, that we may have proof of his gentleness and try his patience. Let us condemn him to a shameful death, for according to his own words, God will take care of him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Selfish ambitions is 
there is disorder at every fall of practice. But the wisdom Rabab is first of all, pure, then fishable, gentle, compliant, full of mercy and good fruits, without inconstancy or insincerity, and the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace for those who cultivate peace. Where do the wars and where do the conflicts among you come from? Is it not from your passions that make war within your members? You covet but do not possess. You kill and invade but you cannot obtain. You fight and wage war. You do not possess because you do not ask. You ask but do not receive because you ask wrongly to spend it on your passions. The bread of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Greatest in your tribe. 
And so uh, one of the uh, there are three children discussing, and then one of them said, "My grandfather is better than yours because uh, one day when he got some goods, he accidentally hit his feet, and there the blood comes out, and the color of the blood is black." And so they were amazed, wow, it's not just the skin, but the color, but also the blood. Black. He must be the greatest. But then the other one insisted, ah, no, that's nothing with my grandfather. One afternoon, my grandfather climbed up a tree to get some fruit. When a man he fall, the bones, his bones is uh, exposed, and the color of the bone is black. Wow, very, very, very great. So, and then the other one really still insists, ah, that's nothing with my grandfather. My grandfather is the, the greatest. Because one night, when we are watching television, and he farted, and we thought, everything becomes black. <laughs> we cannot see anything. But uh, it's just a blackout. <laughs> Timing and lang and brown up. <laughs> so, dear brothers and sisters, uh, being great, no, the, in our gospel today, that Jesus defines who is the greatest. According to him, he who is uh, the servant of all. So, it means that we have to serve all, to serve everyone without distinction and without discrimination, including little children. If you look at Jesus, he is the greatest example of serving everyone. He serves all. He died for all. Not just for the good ones, but also for the sinners. So the world has a different definition on who is the greatest. Um, I will call them MP4. There are four MPs that we define uh, who is the greatest. First is the most powerful, second more popular, third many possessions, and fourth much money. So much, uh, still is this connection with our many possessions also. There are the MP and P3 style. So these are our definition of being the greatest. But this kind of mentality serves only the one who can give them more. For example, we tend to serve only those who will make us more powerful. We serve only those who will make us more popular. We serve only those who will add or give us more possessions. We serve only those who will give us more money. And so this type of service is a sub-center of the serve they only serve themselves. And the disciples in our gospel today, they missed the point. Because in front of them was the greatest, Jesus. They did not recognize him because they have their, their different thinking of what greatness is all about, especially in human terms. In our first reading, there's also another one that we can say great in the eyes of God. Um, in the first reading, it focused on the just one. So let us be said, the just one. Um, for if the just one be the Son of God, God will defend him. So let us, let us put the just one to the test. So it, it focuses on the just one. And who are these just ones? Uh, these just ones are those who feel God, those who does not violate the rights of others, those who are sincere, those who are doing their best, uh, the good ones, those who are trying hard to be holy, to be peaceful and to be kind. So these are the, the just ones. And they use us God's instruments to to shape away all all the forces of evil in the world. So if we remember our first
first reading, there's a kind of uh, tension no? with, uh, with, uh, with the wicked ones. No? Uh, let us destroy this uh, just one because he's disturbing us. No? So the just one is God's instrument no? to, to, to make them uncomfortable. No? So this is the, uh, it talks about the, the just one. But in the second meeting that we have today, it's not just uh, the just one who is the greatest in the eyes of God, but also those who are controlled by wisdom, not about not their passions. This wisdom, I remember um, Mama Rivera, uh, because I think she likes to play uh, play on words, no? so she invented our wisdom. So I think uh, it means that if we if we wish to have to acquire this kind of wisdom, then we are in, we are in a state of or being called uh, wisdom. No? We are wishing to have this wisdom. But what if this wisdom is wasted? No? Uh, what is what if, if what if this wisdom is uh, rejected or not accepted? So I also invented the word. No? Uh, so the wisdom will become wisdom if we do not uh, make use of the wisdom that, uh, that we have received. This kind of wisdom is, according to our second reading, the wisdom from above. So it is, first of all, pure. Being pure reminds us of the image of a child. Then peaceable, it promotes peace, gentle, compliant. So this compliant is um, if we there's an obedience, no? we obey to the to the rules and regulations. No? Uh, it's easy for us to to comply. And then full of mercy and good fruits, no? without in, in, in constance, in, in constancy or insincerity. So this is wisdom probable. So the opposite of wisdom is passion and ambition. Uh, this ambition that we are talking about is uh, according to the um, second reading. Where jealousy and selfish ambition exist, there is disorder and every power practice. No? So this selfish ambition that we have. And passion here is used as, as plural, no? passions. So passions here may be interpreted as um, as an unbridled emotion, no? unbridled is um, not, not being able to control or to li or limited emotions that we have. Impulse, reactions, compulsions, addictions, irrational behavior, or inordinate craving for things, no? or this going beyond what is um, normal, what is proper and useful. No? So, these are our passions. So my dear brothers and sisters, let us let us try to reflect on ourselves. To, um, what is it that controls us? Is it our passions, or do we allow the wisdom of God to reign within our hearts? And so, as we conclude this reflection, if you notice in our gospel. Let us try to be the greatest, and to be the greatest, according to our gospel, we have to serve all, no? to, we have to be the servant of all. And second, in our second reading, we have to live in wisdom, living in wisdom from God. And then the third is um, from our first reading, being just, to be just, even in, in the midst of persecutions from the wicked people.
He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was entered into the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Moses Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again in the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And is seen now without no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and Giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is the Lord and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one, the Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. I confess one of Jesus for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the words of God. Amen. Trusting in God's loving kindness toward those who seek refuge in Him, let us humbly present our petitions in behalf of all those in Him. And let our response be source of all consolation, hear us. Source of all consolation, hear us. For the whole church, and especially the Christian communities which are discriminated against or persecuted, May the Lord, may the hope of eternal reward, their source of strength, let us pray. Source of all consolation, yes. For the Holy Father and all other spiritual leaders, may they treasure humility and the spirit of service in imitation of Jesus, the servant of God, let us pray. Source of all consolation, yes. May the lay members of the church, may they be aware of their dignity and fulfill their duty to be builders of the kingdom in our society. Let us pray. Source of all consolation, hear us. For all those who take care of abandoned children, the handicapped, and the drug addicts, may they preserve in their good work of serving Christ and their less fortunate brethren. Let us pray. Source of all consolation, hear us. For all of us, when we discard the jealousy, greed, and selfishness that divide us and replace them with kindness, generosity, and concern for others. Let us pray. Source of all consolation, hear us. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. Let us pray. Source of all consolation, hear us. Lord Jesus, grant us a spirit of humility and service, that we may become instruments of your love to all our brothers and sisters, especially those who are suffering. You suffered and still care forever and ever. Amen.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Amen. your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you so loved the world, that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer, to live like us in all things but sin so that you might love in us what you love in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours, that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we do give you thanks as an exhortation we obtain. mystery of Salvation, giving thanks that you have heard us worthy 
today in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
Behold, the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm at mercy to enter under my roof, but I say the word, and my soul shall be
bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Holy Christ has been offered. Let us go in peace. Thanks Amen. be to God.